Today we're making three unique burgers from three of YouTube's most popular chefs. Then at the end of the video, we're gonna take the best components from each of these burgers and mash them together to build the ultimate Frankenstein burger. Now each of these guys has their own unique style, their own sense of humor. They bring different things to the table. People like them for different reasons. I know I like them for different reasons. But today we're gonna push that love aside and pit them against each other to see which of these blokes makes the best burger on YouTube. You know how we do. We're gonna start with the most involved burger first from none other than Gugga Foods. He's got this whole team, this beautiful place he works out of in Florida, basically a beef compound. Um, yeah, the people love Gugga for a reason. He makes very, very wild, crazy, meaty concoctions. And of course, burgers are no exception. So it would kind of be blasphemy of me to choose a regular, good old fashioned American burger when talking about Gugga Foods. So I chose one that's definitely unique. So this burger doesn't use buns. It uses this. Instant ramen noodles. That's right. We're basically gonna cook these noodles, cool them down, steam them, and make ramen buns. Make sure to remove these. Gotta turn the water on first, huh? Eww. The modern marvel that is instant ramen noodles. Speed that cooling process up a bit. We got a nice little egg here, I'm gonna give it a whisk and into the noodles. You can just use your skin mitten, move it around, make sure the noodles are coated in the oil. And this is one pack of ramen and one egg. I'm gonna take about three quarters of our noodles and pop it in the steam daddy. All right, so it's a glass container wrapped with plastic wrap, another little small deli container wrapped with plastic wrap, something to weigh it down just a tiny bit. Press that, and then we're gonna steam this off for 10 minutes. Well, this thing's steaming off. Let's make some sauce. We're gonna go in with a teaspoon of sushi vinegar, a tablespoon of ponzu, three tablespoons of hoisin, and this stuff. I'm not 100% sure what this is. I saw it on Gogo's video. I went ahead and ordered some online. Um, he pronounced it ketchup manis. It looks to me like ketchup manis. I don't know what this is. I guess it's an Indonesian like soy sauce product. It smells like dark soy. It tastes like a molasses, sugary, dark soy sauce. So, two tablespoons of that. Oh yeah, that's thick stuff. Probably make a good marinade. All right, just gonna mix that all together. That is literally all you do. All right, let's see what we got here. Beautiful, look at that, ramen bun, baby. So everything's stuck together, but it is a little sort of like soft still. So what I like to do, plop this back in a container to make sure it maintains its shape. And then you can take this whole thing here and just put it in the fridge and let it chill down a bit and it will solidify more. I went ahead and made all of these already. All right, so I might've made these a little thick here, which is fine. We're just gonna give them a little haircut. That's much better. We're just gonna toast these till they get a little crispy on the outside. All right, so I spent about three and a half years raising micro chickens. We have about 17 and a half eggs here. This is what they look like. It's really easy to do this at home, just takes three and a half years. So we're gonna cook a couple of these. In you go. There you go. There's our deformed little two eggs. Bun done, sauce done, eggs done. Let's talk booth. I went ahead yesterday, picked up some short ribs, some beef chuck, and ground them up. This is 50-50 that. What's cool about all these different burgers here today is that each person makes their burger a little differently. For Gaga, he uses a mold, and he takes his beef like this and presses it in the mold loosely. I'm gonna press down enough so that this burger doesn't fall apart when we take it out the mold, but keeping in mind that we're going for a certain type of Gaga style burger here. Eh, eh. And you'll notice we didn't season anything. We didn't put anything in this beef. When the beef is this high quality, you don't gotta do anything to it. Don't put breadcrumbs, no egg, no Worcestershire, no hot sauce. When you're talking about an Americano burger, good beef, that's it. You season the outside, that's it. Off to the grill we go.
off next, we got the big dog himself, Matty Matson, double M. That should be like a thing for him. The internet certainly loves him. I know I do. He's a silly, silly lad. As you'd imagine, Maddie's burger is big, it's bold, it's flavorful, it's sloppy. Just like him, minus the sloppy part. He's actually very clean cut. He's, he'd be a very handsome guy. Also, fire style. Cool guy. Cool guy alert. Okay, let's make this burg, shall we? Shall we, mister? You want to be on TV? Look at this boy. The thing I like about Maddie's style here is he, you know, you just get it done. He's not gonna be like, you have to make a burger bun from scratch and you have to do all these crazy things. That could be fun and that's good sometimes. Do what's best. If you see a really good potato bun at the store or a really good brioche bun at a bakery, buy it, use it, it's gonna be great. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. See how, this is what we want. See how soft these are? Basically like little donuts. All right, Maddie's sauce. We got about a cup of good old Hellman's mayonnaise. Look at that. God, I love this stuff. And dill pickles. That's literally it. And you just mix that around. I didn't even see him put any sort of salt or more vinegar or pepper in this. It's literally just mayonnaise and pickles. There we go. Dill pickle mayo. Okay, everybody gets the same beast. Maddie said that his ideal burger weight in the video. I think the perfect patty size for a cheeseburger, six ounces. But he didn't have a scale, but lucky for us, we do. So let's see what we got here. Hey, exactly, six ounces. And he hand shapes his. We got Gogo -Go using the mold. We got Maddie hand shaping into patty. Maddie's patty. You should definitely open a burger spot called Maddie's patty if he hasn't already. Maddie's patty's in. Salt. Pretty sure he also put some peppy on his as well, so a little pep. All right, real quick, I wanna talk about this stuff here. This is bacon jam. It's basically crispy bacon lardons, which are just big chunks of bacon kind of cut into small strips called lardons. Then we got some caramelized onions here, and then you pour a bunch of red wine vinegar in it to deglaze, so what you're left with is this super fatty, rich, savory, oniony, but also acidic and tangy condiment that you can kind of cheekily call bacon jam. But really it's just bacon and caramelized onions. Ooh -hoo. Bacon jam, we're gonna add that right to our flipped burgers. Can be generous with the stuff, this burger's sloppy. Now for Maddie's cheese, he uses Monterey Jack. I'll pop a bunch of that on here like this. More over here. You can cut the heat. So a little bit of H2O, cover him up. All right, whoo, looking juicy. All right, we're good to go. Joshua Weissman, Papa, fast food remake king, whatever you want to call him. This dude needs no introduction. He's basically the poster child for cooking YouTube and he makes some pretty incredible stuff on his channel. His take on a burger is clean, it's polished, it's classic, much like his videos and cooking style, so we're gonna make it today. Josh's sauce. It's one part mayo, another part ketchup, dash of McDerber sauce, a smidge of poop on me, gray poop on, Dijon must. Chopped pickles about the size of baby teeth, according to Weissman. Might be the creepiest way I've ever heard food described, but I also kind of think it's hilarious. These are caramelized onions, all right? Nothing new to everyone. I got a video on how to make these if you need some direction. They take a little bit of time, so I did them off camera. Pretty interesting, we're gonna add these directly to the sauce. And I forgot if he did this, but I'm just gonna add a pinch of kosher for good measure. Yeah, so I kind of like this because it's taking everything that you'd want on a burger, your onions, your, your pickles, all your sauces, and just kind of putting it in one place. So it actually, it's a pretty smart idea. Joshy's boiga sauce. All right, just a little bit of burr in our cast iron because we are going to brulee fresh onion here. What that means is we're just gonna give it some color, make it look nice, and it's gonna go on top of our burger. So we can get rid of these. They look finito. In this same butter we got going on here, we're gonna toast our brioche buns. See how fast that is? All right. Gogo used a ring mold. Maddie shapes by hand. Josh takes the semi smash burger approach here. And he doesn't recommend any size other than what he said on camera. It should be about that big. Doesn't that kind of look like his? I don't know. 
All right, so in, he used this big weird wood thing. I'm just gonna do how I do. It's not quite smash burger, right? It's not paper thin, it's just flattened. Same thing. A little salt, he doesn't use pepper, he just uses kosher salt. Now we flip. Josh's cheese, he's got two types here. We have some cave-aged Gruyere, shredded, and some cheddar, also shredded. So I'm just gonna make a little bit of a cheese salad here, my favorite kind of salad. I'm gonna pop that on top. And now, we torch. We're just gonna brush our cheese with the flame here. All right, so we did everything. We cooked all the burgers, we got the sauces situated. It's time to build. All right, Gugga starts with the ramen bun, a drizzle of the sauce, a butter lettuce, the burger patty, crispy bacon, our quail egg, and the final bun. Maddie's Berg starts with our toasted brioche bun, a healthy serving of shreddis, which I respect and appreciate, a delicious big boy burger with all that cheese and bacon jam on it, and a nice of that dill pickle mayonnaise. This is a sloppy burger, he even says it himself. And the top bun. Slop town virgin, yeah. All right, Weiss Daddies. We got a brioche bun, toasted of course. A bit of sauce. Oop, we did around real nice. A tomato, a little pinch of salt on that tomato. A little bit of butt lettuce. One of our delicious baguette patty. And some brulee onion. And just an extra little dollop of sauce for good measure. And zitta bun. All right, taste test time, triple T. I think we all wanna see it. I think we're gonna do the ramen to start. And not only are we gonna do the ramen, I might do something blasphemous. I think I really need to see a cross section on this thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, looks pretty good. The burger has a nice cook on it, good mid medium rare. That's crazy. All right, wow, so it's holding together pretty well. It's pretty squishy, so I should be able to wrap my, my hole around it here. All right, we're gonna get the corner piece. All right, next up we'll go Maddie's Berg. A little cross-section action. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, last but not least, Papa's Burger. Ooh, we're slipping and sliding. All right. Potentially the most classic of the Bergs. Really good, really nice. I enjoyed that. Okay, the tough part, we gotta rank these. Third place. I think you might already have a slight idea about this, but third place, it's gotta be the ramen burger. <laughs> Super fun idea, looks magnificent. Now, a noodle burger could potentially work, maybe if you seasoned it a little bit. My beef is that the noodle patty itself is very eggy. It's a little distracting from the burger itself, especially with the runny quail eggs on it. It's like double eggy and it's a little too much for my taste. Um, and the sauce on the bottom, I could hardly taste it. It basically came right through the cracks of the noodle. So we have a really soggy bottom here. The burger itself was amazing. I love that charcoal flavor. I love the look, I love the shape, the color. It was cooked nice and sort of mid-rare, which is like, this is like, honestly, as far as the burger goes, like my perfect burger. But Gugga, I still love you. You're a beautiful soul. One day I wish to be invited to your beef compound to do many, many weird, meaty things with you. A boy can dream. Second place. The silver, which means first place. So this is exciting. Get excited. Get stoked, get pumped, get amped. Second place goes to Maddie. Maddie Madsen in the silver here. This was a fantastic, see honestly, let's see, look how sloppy these are. We're slopping out here. I'm just gonna put that, put that right there. These two burgers are on the same tier when it comes to slop a tree here, which I don't mind. You're eating a burger, you're getting into it. 
you know, it's it's your day, you've been looking forward to it, and you just make a commitment for a burger. So the slop factor doesn't bother me for any of these burgers. The bacon jam is good, but I prefer just caramelized onions, like I said about this guy. I don't really reach for a bacon sort of burger situation by default. I usually tend to go for a more classic burger. The pickled mayonnaise, it's funny because it's literally just mayonnaise and minced pickles, but I don't know, I kind of like the larger chunky pickles more so than I do the smaller ones in Josh's sauce. I love shredded, I can just, I agree with Maddie, shredded lettuce, iceberg lettuce is the best lettuce on the planet. That's really all I gotta say. The big dog coming in at the two slot, which means give it up for your champion, JW, Joshua Weissman, Papa with this Slopatron. <laughs> I love all the flavors in this burger. To me, it screams burger. It screams well-made burger. The sauce was awesome. It had so much in it, which could sometimes backfire, but I think it had every element of a good cheeseburger. Your mustard, your ketchup, a little bit of umami from the Worcestershire. Of course, the mayonnaise, minced pickles in it, caramelized onions in it, classic soft brioche bun, the cheese, the Gruyere, and the cheddar was a fantastic touch. Give it up for your boy, Joshy W. <laughs> Okay, now we shall choose our favorite elements from each burger to Frankenstein together our freak show creation. I think I've had enough burgers. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all we got for you this time. Uh, which burger was your favorite? If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments below. Best way to support the channel is over on the Grocery Fund, AKA the Patreon. It literally helps us pay for everything we do here from ingredients to R&D to editing to everything. So if you can help over there, that would be fantastic. Come say what's good in the Discord. Come chat with me, come hang out, tell me all your secrets. And then you're give me your dad's email and I'll email him all those secrets. If you're new to the channel, subscribe join the party like the video if you like the video that is and uh, we'll see you next time bye